you know, you've been a, in the league for a, lo- a while now. That's opened up uh, opportunities for you to give back to your community there in w- East Willing and stuff. So you want to like kind of like going and I, I saw you have like a football camp. I know I reposted yeah. it up on the gram and stuff for yeah, you. Yeah, I know, man. You always show love. I appreciate you, man. I for sure. You got to get some of them Charleston kids up here too, man. I'm, I'm oh, yeah. here for my community. But um, yeah, so my dad was a um, uh, prominent leader in the black community in my city. He was actually the president of the NAACP in my in my community of Willing. And um, he passed in a uh, uh, I want to say twenty. Well, he passed in twenty fifteen, but it was in like suspicious circumstances. He got pulled over by the police, um, and police handcuffed him. It was mistaken identity. He had a heart attack. He was diabetic, and he had a diabetic heart attack because he was, you know, like nervous. It was, you know, he's never been in trouble before, so he's nervous. So when he passed, uh, it shook the black community up, um, but it put a, it lit a fire underneath my, me and my sister and my two other brothers. Um, and um, so we wanted to, you know, keep his legacy going by creating the Pega Foundation, which was short for Perry Galloway Junior Foundation. Um, we started that in 2016. Our first youth camp was in 2017. Yeah, 2017, which um, we held in East Willing. Uh, they tore down the basketball courts and made a football field, very nice football field. So we wanted to utilize that because my dad ran a um, basketball camp there for 27 years brought out people from all over the country to go to that basketball camp and we thought it would be nice to have it down there. Figured out it was too hot. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> a couple years later we built a <laughs> hey, couple years later we built a uh, nice state of the art facility up in uh, up in Willing. Uh, it's a full fo- indoor football field and six basketball courts. Um oh, we wow. run out the, we run out the whole we run out the whole facility and um this year uh, we right now pre registers we have over four hundred kids signed up. Totally free. Um uh, we feed them. We, uh, you know, I bring in, I bring in my my teammates, all the te- other teammates I had across the league. It's a it's a big event, man. The community really shows support. But we raise money for that camp, and we use the money that we raise obviously for the camp and um, other things. Uh, we're actually in the middle of trying to uh, outfit a um, what is it called a uh, lab which is for gaming and coding you know like AI we want to teach kids about mm. all that so yeah that's, that's for the future yeah 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 so we're trying to you know we're trying to keep West Virginia up current you know so we're trying to for yeah, sure man a bit of that. we put kids through school we just had our first two kids graduate uh, from private school that we helped pay you know that we helped pay for and they both have full rides to go to college um, one is division one track track player and the other one is the Division two football players actually going to my alma mater, from my state. So um, they have full rides, man. So we, okay, okay. Man, God has been good to us, man. God has been that's good to us. That's what's up, so man. We, we, so we're trying to give back. We do, yeah, we do, we do a little bit more, but that's 